My name is Mitchell, I'm the owner of Homebrew Espresso, and I'm here to talk about how we get our coffee from on our shelves to on your table so you can drink it. Basically, my real job as a barista is to make sure I don't scrub all the hard work of the farmers and the roasters who have done everything they can to make sure that your coffee experience is amazing. There's a whole bunch of different variables we can actually control to make sure this happens, even before it uh, gets put into our machine. Uh, so first off, how long we age the coffee. So we want to age it between 7 to 14 days. This lets the beans degas and the flavors really develop before we start to grind it and brew it. Once we've put it in the hopper, we're controlling stuff like the grind particle size. Uh, this changes things like uh, how long the shop will run and what sort of flavors we can actually extract out of it. After that, we're going to make sure that the gr uh, grinds are all distributed correctly and we want to tamp it so that we're getting a consistent shot and the same flavor every single time to make sure it's always amazing. Uh, and that shot, we want it to go in our one to two ratio from uh, the dry coffee that we're putting in. We want about twice as much liquid coming out. And we want to do that in about 25 to 30 seconds, which lets us brew all the good stuff into it, like our acids, sugars, carbohydrates. And it makes sure that we're not running the shot too long or too short, introducing things like bitterness or sourness or making muddy flavors. After that, once we've done a perfectly good shot, we're going to steam the milk. Usually we do it to about 55, 60 degrees. This lets us get a really nice velvety texture uh, and almost uh, paint-like in appearance, really glossy. After that, we do some fancy latte art into the espresso shot and we bring it out to you.